September 6, 2018, Quest 139, Making Friends with My Arm. I think it's tradition at this point to start these with, it's been a while, and uh, what's going on? It's, it's been a while. I'm heading on over to Troll Stronghold to talk with our old friend Burnt Meat. Last time we were here, we ran around with a troll named My Arm and figured out how to grow goutweed. Gootweed. Gout. Goot, gout weed, I don't care. As a reward for that whole thing, I was given an inventory full of burnt meat and a farming patch that I haven't used even once. But I guess we're gonna go check in and see what's going on this time. There he is. He's immediately complaining about humans running around the kitchen. He's got an important visitor here and he needs my help. Oh good, this quest is already calling me out for not having the mining level. Look, I've got 71 mining. I'm gonna boost it one level. Don't ridicule me for being smart about this. I'm guessing that's the important visitor. Wolfbone. Oh, a second pop-up reminding me that I don't have the mining level. Dude, what happened that was so traumatic that they coded in two different warning screens for not having the levels. This just threw my whole thing off. I'm just thinking about my mining level now. Wolfbone's from a troll town called Vice. That's how we'd say white if we lost World War II. They came down here hoping to exchange knowledge and goods with each other. But since Wolfbone came here, he wants an ambassador to go there. And Burnt Meat has decided to send our old pal my arm because he thinks he's the best choice. What I want to know is why Burnt Meat is the one deciding this. The leader of the stronghold uh, is that cob guy from Monkey Madness 2. I feel like assigning an ambassador is under his job description. I don't think the chef decides things that big. This is huge. Maybe word got out of what I did to him, and they just can't take him seriously anymore. And Burnt Meat was next in line. He's the king now. Either that's the case, or no one gives a shit, and it's probably that one. We're gonna head to Vice by boat. I'm gonna get my arm and we'll head out. Well, well, well. If it isn't my arm, still up here next to that plant and the patch I've yet to rake. He's excited to teach the Vice trolls about gootweed. I'm sure they'll be very excited about farming. Everyone loves farming. Farming. This is a good idea to teach them that. Since we need a boat to get there, I've just remembered Larry, the guy from the Cold War quest. He's got a boat, and that qualifies him to be the first and only candidate for this situation. So he's gonna be taking us to Vice. I'm meeting my arm over in Relica, and we'll get going. I can't speak right now. I have too much to do. What do you mean you have to- are you kidding me? I know what you're thinking, Larry. Wow, I thought that was a rock. And that's- that's where they get you. Keep your head on a swivel, Larry. Can I transport my arm in your boat? Something tells me this joke's gonna happen 26 more times after this, and I'm probably not gonna acknowledge any of them. Arm, look out! Those aren't real rocks! Oh, wow, the my arm joke is continuing in the dialogue. I, I couldn't have seen this coming. How about we go on the boat and not do this anymore, I think? We're manually rowing there. I don't know how far this place actually is. Alright, we're there, thank god. My arm doesn't do climbing, so... We're gonna have to get them in a different way. So apparently if I mine from this side, I collapse the cave, but if I mine from the inside, it'll be fine. So, you know, gonna have to do this in the most difficult way possible. I'm sure, this will go great for me. I just got up here and I spotted a cave in the camp. Just gonna ruin all relations immediately by sneaking around and getting in there. Good news, everyone. The arm jokes are still going strong. Get them while they're hot. There's enough to go around for all of you. Yeah, this is getting nowhere. This guy thinks I'm an idiot. And uh, I'm done with this conversation, I think. Just taking a wild guess that there's probably a different way inside of this village. Oh, is that a convenient gap in the fence? Every fence has got one. So I'm thinking what I do here is run and hope for the best. Turns out you could just run, and as long as you're running, they don't hit you. I'm running faster than their brains. I knew this would work. There's actually a platoon of trolls just standing around over here. I'm gonna get a little closer first. Oh my god, there's so many. Where are they getting these? Where are they keeping these balls? All right, they're all coming after me. Perfect. Ooh, I'm gonna go to this crevice, the only clickable thing down here. It's a good thing I got in here before those trolls arrived, I said out loud as I'm hiding from the trolls trying to kill me. Nice. Oh. One found me. Thank God he's not gonna sound the alarm to the others. He's just gonna stand still and not tell anyone anything about what he just saw and threw a rock at. I'm just gonna click and go. Nice. Alright. I'm knocked unconscious. Let's try that again. Maybe uh, it'll find the right pathing. I just click on the minimap. Oh, perfect. See you soon. I don't really know what to do here. They feel like they can get me from anywhere. Oh, they can't see me behind these because they're giant dumb idiots. I'm going. I don't care. Too fast and smart. I love situations in quests that are so incomprehensible that you need the character to solve the puzzle in their head and say it out loud to the player before you even attempt. I have to bait the trolls into throwing rocks at me and build a path for my arm so that the trolls can see him when he walks in. Let's try it out, I guess. Something tells me this isn't working. There's no way rocks can continue to fit in this pond. Okay, that one worked. Why did that one happen? What am I missing here? Okay, we've got three. This is kind of working. Where they, okay, so you basically... I actually have no idea. This doesn't make any sense. Nope, see you later. Surely this is good enough. He can walk out. They can see him from here. There's no way this needs to go any farther. 
God damn it. Maybe I, I could just do this like this and hope that the game ticks are fine and Jagex has switched their servers to something reliable in the last five minutes. That's gotta be good. Yes, that's good. My character has confirmed out loud that it, it is good enough. Man, I wish I would have gotten some warning that I couldn't mine this. Thanks, Barleys. Yeah, just go. They just took us up to their leader. This is Mother, the king of this place. Why are you called Mother, Mother? A troll child's named after the first thing they try to eat. My full name is Mother's Left One. Okay, surely that doesn't count. It's called breastfeeding. Every Everyone does that. That's it, a fucking loophole. This is don't know what. He's, a, he's like a son to Mother. That's perfect, thank you. This old troll's odd mushroom. Big clever clogs. Makes him talk funny. What does that mean? Oh, he talks like not a dumbass. Oh, it's his daughter, Snowflake. Perfect. Oh, great. Great to meet you. Oh, my arm's very pleased to see Snowflake. My arm's horny. It's funny when I say it. Arm is hitting on Snowflake right in front of her dad. That is a very badass thing to do, but we're probably gonna die now. We men have business to talk. That's right. No women. Sexism always works out and everyone agrees with it. It's not gonna backfire. So when Mother retires, this guy gets to become king and marry Snowflake. That sounds good to me. They're gonna live happily ever after together and we should leave. We're finally breaking the news that we can teach all of them to farm gootweed and Mother's reaction is very understandable. Uh, he wants us to get the fuck out. Ooh, I know. Tell him to show respect to his daughter. Yeah, none of this is smart. Trolls are impossible to negotiate with. I don't even know why we tried this. Arm trolls useless. Get out of here. Yeah, I get that. Okay, well, we've been kicked out. Uh, I think we should pack it up and head home. I wish my arm did not have to leave. Don't say that. We're just gonna- Oh, god damn it. My arm's very upset about this arranged marriage he's learned about 30 seconds ago. I know already that I want my arm by my side. There's no possible scenario in which you know that. Odd Mushroom's saying that Mother's holding Vice back, not letting them advance as a society. I don't really know how to break the news to him that trolls are kind of capped out at a certain point. Mushroom suggesting that Snowflake marries my arm. That way she can rule and, and put this place uh, in the right direction. We've got to gain Mother's respect. Can I kill Mother? That usually solves problems in quests. <laughs> I'd prefer you not to kill Father. Yeah, okay. Yeah, all right. I'll get back to you on that. I don't know how else to say this. I, I mean, these are trolls we're talking about here. The only way we're solving this is with violence. It doesn't matter what you come up with here. Some sort of flashback into the history of these guys. Keldegrim Caves. All right, they're just destroying everybody. Oh, I wonder who that could be. According to the cutscene, the wise old man stopped this tribe from invading Keldegrim, or at least the caves nearby, by killing a grand total of what appears to be three trolls. And as a result, the wise old man is this tribe's mortal enemy. What'd you do in the fishing colony with him? Ah, uh, killed a lot of trolls. Bunch of things that look like you, Snowflake. A lot of them. My arm wanted to kill the wise old man to prove himself to mother, but that guy can take out this entire village without banking, so maybe we don't do that. Mushroom suggesting we get the wise old man to fake his death and present him to mother in hopes that he'll believe arm did it. This has to be one of the dumbest plans of all time, and there's no universe in which this works, but you know, there's no abandoned quest option in RuneScape, so it looks like we're gonna have to go along with it. Not my arm, I mean my arm. Why does my character do this? We've talked to enough people at this point to know that this is a very confusing situation, and we waste a lot of time not providing context beforehand. Just tell him, just start calling him your troll friend. Just skip the whole arm thing. Just anything but his actual name. Can you pretend to be dead also? So he was pretty reluctant to go through with this, but I told him he owes me a favor from the whole fishing colony thing. I don't even remember why he would owe me anything from that, but I just figured, you know, maybe he doesn't remember either. And, uh, it looks like he's in. We're getting a cadaver potion made, same one from Romeo and Juliet. I've got the ingredients with me. That's very clever. I hope you've got a feeling of pride and satisfaction with that. Pretty sure that's a reference to the EA Reddit post with like 600,000 down votes. Thanks. I made the coffin, got the potion. Let's do it. There he goes. Perfect. All right, we're just carrying him in our backpack. Examine text, don't alk him. Well, yeah, you just put the idea in my head and now I have to do it. And here we go. You sense the wise old man's disapproval. Yeah, okay. But did they code in the message for a low alk? They did. What do you know? Maybe we just continue the quest and then hurry up. So I've geared up for combat ahead of time because killing an unknown amount of inhabitants here is the only possible way this story concludes. I don't make the rules. Okay, Arm, here's the old man in this coffin. Let's get going. This plan's not gonna fail itself. All right, we're presenting it to Mother. My Arm's clearly a great warrior. Mushroom, what if we didn't talk anymore? Mother's skeptical because there's no blood or any signs of battle or struggle or anything. He's suggesting maybe he could have died of old age. I mean, I showed up in full combat gear. Surely they get the hint. Oh, Snowflake standing up to her father. A strategy that it's worked every time it's happened ever. The wise old man is now snoring. It's the magic escaping from the cadaver. You know, for being in the hot seat, that's not bad, Mushroom. You're quick on your toes, I'll give you that. Oh no, we've been found out. Who could have predicted this? Good news, everyone. We're in jail. Mushroom's on his deathbed telling us that Mother has a fire of domination. It blocks us from teleporting and gives him super strength and, and overhead prayers, all that fun stuff. Mushroom's dying wish is that Snowflake takes over the village. And there goes Mushroom. A traditional Jedi's death, apparently. Disappeared out of thin air. Actual good news. 
Snowflake has come to her senses and is now on board with my original plan of just killing her father. Like I said, I've been in a lot of different places, a lot of situations. I know how things work. Wise old man's blowing the door open. We're going loud. I don't know how this fight works. Some rocks seem to be dodgeable. The other ones just kind of hit me normally. Just gonna run back and forth until I win, I think. This dude's defense level is like 186. And we win. We're doing great. Okay, everyone, follow me. Let's go kill Snowflake's dad. Here we go. Look at those prayer switches. Either that fire's helping him, or he's using AHK. Just gonna pour this water on the fire. It's the only way we'll know for sure. Okay, I think it was the fire. You're in the clear. I'm just going in a circle and shooting him. I don't know. He keeps walking towards me, and I don't like that, so I think I just keep doing this. Gotta say, I really like that the three guards who could assist him at any point are just watching. Probably making this fight a lot easier for me. Oh. He's thrown me into a wall, and it did absolutely zero damage, so I'm fine. It appears the wise old man has never seen an overhead prayer before, since he's just auto-casting a spell without any sort of awareness. And there we go. Casual regicide, baby. Another day in the life. Let's see if this takes the realistic route, and there's 18 waves of trolls trying to avenge the dead king. Oh, the wise old man is welcome back here at any time. I'm sure he'll vacation here, Snowflake. That's very kind of you. Mother is dead, and I claim the throne. Yup, and my arm helped Snowflake kill him. I don't care. Take the credit. Okay, it appears we are now in a wedding ceremony. It also appears that I'm the sermon. I pronounce you husband and wife. I'm glad I'm here. They will now perform the ancient dance of love. Fun fact, did you guys know that Jagex actually patched this pathing at one point and you couldn't do the follow dance? There was so much outcry from players that they unpatched it. So that's cool that they added this in. Oh, beautiful graphic there. That's so nice. We still need one small favor first. Where have I heard that before? They want goat dung? Be right back. I love this. Anything to get the quest complete screen at this point. You probably display your bucket of poo. Oh, they're using goat dung to make farming patches. She gave me mushrooms notes and I can make eternal light fires in dark places so I don't need light sources. We'll see if I do that even once. Ladies and gentlemen, it's been quite some time. Quest complete. Oh, hey Wolfbone. How are things back at Vice? They're good. They're very good. Uh, the ambassador we sent over didn't like the king and wanted to bang his daughter, so we killed the second in command and then we killed the king, then we claimed the throne. So now Snowflake and my arm are ruling that place indefinitely, and uh, everything's good. How have you been? And of course, as a reward, Burnt Meat has given Wolfbone Burnt Meat to hand to us. I'll be sure to cherish all of it. Very kind of you. You're great, Burnt Meat. I'm glad I came back here for this. You know, take care. I'll see you, uh... Hopefully never again for the rest of the time. This might be our last interaction ever. See you later. A huge thank you to Covalence for sponsoring today's episode of By Release. If you're into coding or want to get into coding, I envy you. Because other fields don't have cool things like this just floating around on the internet. Covalence is a technical trade school that specializes in software development. And they are changing the game because not only do they teach you software development, they teach you how to get a career started in software development, which is a big thing that a lot of universities tend to brush over. Like the one thing you should not brush over. Covalence has drifted away from the ancient teaching techniques of the 1700s. No grading, no testing, no giving you a grade for your tests. Show up, do the work, master the work, and be receptive to feedback. Covalence courses provide over 400 plus hours of content and around 50 portfolio assignments that basically force experience onto you and all at your own pace. Even after you graduate, you'll still have access to all the course materials in case some AI accidentally in invents four coding languages overnight and they've got some things to say about it. They've got a Discord server. Ivy League schools could not put their top engineers on the task of of creating a Discord server. These are modern people. They also have a monthly membership program where you can check out all the course material, learn your own way if you'd like. And to top it all off, these guys play RuneScape. Click the link in the description and explore Covalence yourself. All I ask is that you remember who told you about it if you end up coding your way into millions of dollars. Thanks again to Covalence. Back to you by release. On January 10th, 2019, the Great Karen got two new quests alongside the release of Kebos Lowlands, Ascent of Arceus and Forsaken Tower. We're starting with Arceus, which is the area home to the floating guy who use the Dark Altar for magic. They keep to themselves most of the time, so we don't know too much about them. What we do know is that they are immortal, and apparently you should take that with a grain of salt, because that's that doesn't look very immortal to me. Mori's over here, and uh, they're next to a dead body, which isn't exactly on brand for this part of Karen, so maybe we figure out what's going on here. Yeah, Mori's almost just as shocked as their friend. Uh, they died, and they have no idea what's going on. They're freaking out. Immortal beings dying is a little above my pay grade, usually, but, I mean, what else am I doing, you know? 
know. I got nothing on the schedule, so uh, why not dive in? Let's get to the bottom of this, huh? The leader of this place used the dark altar to discover the secret of immortality, so everyone here got that. He let everyone in on it. I'm gonna head to the Karen Castle and let Counselor Andrews know what happened. The people of Arceus don't just die, they can't. Oh, sorry, Counselor, you're right. I I'm here saying that because of all things to do today. Uh, this is what I figured would be the most fun for me, coming up here and speaking to you, the most generic NPC this game has to offer, and just telling a bullshit story, saying something outlandish, just to see what happens. Surely I'll benefit from this somehow. Big surprise, this guy has no idea what to do. The Arceus family have chosen to keep their knowledge a secret from everyone else. Wow. Okay, that is the face of a man full of resentment towards an entire race of immortal beings who won't let you in on their secrets. But also, you know, I get it. I mean, what do you want them to do? People die in every other region of this continent all the time by the hundreds. They can't just play favorites. I mean, the Shazian guys are literally in an infinite loop of sending their troops to imminent death against lizard people. I don't even think the council knows that's happening. Looks like we're going straight to Lord Arceus and the Tower of Magic. I just tried going in and they're currently facing an issue of some sort and no one may enter until it's resolved. Resolved. I just broke the news that someone has died, and that was my ticket in. Somebody deal with these souls. Oh, they just got ghosts in here. What is the big deal? Somebody deal with this. Are these guys pacifists? I know they don't really have a reason to fight with the whole can't die thing, but I genuinely don't know. They're just cowering in a corner instead of fighting back. Don't you guys study the Dark Altar? In thousands of years, you haven't learned one defensive spell. What do you guys do all day? You got that big library. What do you do in there? Upstairs we go. Whoa. Uh... Uh, I'll- I, I came at a bad time, I'll come back later. I should come back later. Sorry. I can't believe I just walked in on that. Yeah, uh, someone died though, I have to go up, I have to- I, I gotta- I gotta go. Oh! Oh, he's concentrating. This is concentrating animation, that's what this is. Yeah, they also don't know what's going on. What they know is that things are going to shit, and that's as far as they've gotten. I'm starting to think this whole intellectual magic dark altar scheme is a complete sham. I think you guys learned immortality, and then you all decided to just do nothing. Just hang out all day. Act like you're doing important shit all the time. This would be a no-brainer for you all right now. You'd know exactly what's happening, how to stop it, but you're all freaking out. This guy's dry humping the air in a state of shock. I'm the one here solving everything. I'm killing souls downstairs. I don't even know what that was all about. He's claiming his father's power, whatever this is, is the only thing keeping everyone here alive. But his father can't dry hump forever, so we gotta act fast. So I guess Archaeus didn't actually discover immortality. Some ancient beings over on Mount Karulm did. And since I'm apparently the only one who can help them, I'm gonna go speak to those guys over at Mount Karulm and see what all the commotion's about. Wow. Dark and depressing up here, I think. It should be down here. Ooh, three new music tracks. Oh, hello, chair people. Human. Yes, very good. I mentioned Arceus and they called him a liar. They all came to these guys to get someone's mom more time to live. So they got taught immortality and they ended up misusing it. Now they all got immortality and they're messing with the balance of life and death and all that fun stuff. Stuff that's too complicated for mortals to understand. Us mere baby minded mortals. These guys are basically fine with whatever's happening in Arceus. They're actually pleased to hear this, perhaps. My guy is just sighing. I told them if they save the Arceus guys, then I'll generously offer them help. You assume we need help. I've done this enough times to know that everyone wants something, even the masters of life and death. Every quest, I just embrace all the bullshit I've been through more and more. It's amazing. It gets a lot of things done. Maybe the human's not as stupid as it looks. What's wrong with the way I look? I look great. They'll help, but first they say I have to serve them. They want me to go free a soul from a corpse to the south. Sounds easy enough, no problem. Uh-oh, open coffin. Uh-oh, hunting mechanics. Uh-oh, a level 30 aggressive guy. Was that it? That's what it takes to gain the trust and favor of the masters of life and death? I've done way harder things for like 1k GP. I do too much for people, dude. The balance has been restored? I don't think they understand how easy that was. I'm not gonna mention it, but I, I, I almost feel like I'm getting scammed somehow. I guess there's a device that was put next to the altar by someone that's redirecting the dark magic, and that's the reason they've started losing immortality. So I gotta go find it and destroy it. All right, here's the dark altar. Looks like I can inspect the rocks around here, so I'll, I'll do that. A strange device. You smash it. Wow. This thing was killing off immortal beings, and I immediately spike it like a fucking football and assume that th that was the correct thing to do. I might have just nuked Archaeus. I don't know. No, everyone's fine. Oh, look at that. I saved everyone. I don't give my guy enough credit. I, I really know what's going on most of the time. Don't overthink things, is, is, is what I'll take from this. Archaeus is basically like, damn, those big chair guys suck because they know who put that device there, but they're, they're not telling. But I mean, Arceus is saved and uh, we're good to go, I guess. And uh, that's quest complete. All right, up next we've got Forsaken Tower. I need 20% Lovakin favor to start it. If I had to pick one word to describe getting Lovakin favor, um, happy. I'd, I'd, I'd pick happy. 
I think. So basically what you do is you sit in this gas poison infested area over here with a face mask on because it's the only thing protecting you from imminent death and you just start chipping away at this volcanic sulfur. Just try to imagine that the poisonous death clouds aren't there and it's not that bad. Wow, nice work mate. What? Just because this sucks doesn't mean you have to take it out on me. Don't say that to me while I'm doing this. Oh, so I guess if the spider attacks you, the clouds won't get to you. I think. But I still don't know what I had to do with anything involving that last guy. It's mine and my own business. Alright, I've got 20%. Let's start this thing. It's funny how, after all we've been through, my character supposedly stumbles on quests like this by barging into random places and talking to people he's never seen before. Some things just never change. Like, I'm sure Lady Lovaken, who I presume is the leader of this entire region, therefore the most important and most protected person here, won't mind at all if I just walk on in with a mask and hood on and see if there's anything that they want me to do for money. We're going back and forth. They're a little tense in here. Hiya. That ought to make them like me a lot. Oh, they've noticed my contributions of mining poison gas rocks. Thank you. Yes, I, I did that. What do they want? Uh, money mostly, but I don't care. I'm looking for a quest. Oh, yeah, that too, I guess. Okay, immediately opted in for solving kingdom problems. Very on brand. And yeah, she's gonna go drink. Good work. I guess there's some issues with the doors of Din, which are the doors keeping the winter tot locked up, basically preventing the world from experiencing a nuclear blizzard and ending all life forms as we know it. So I guess I'll go and see what's going on over there. I just got here. I'm talking to this guy. He's like the master smith around here. He, he builds and repairs shit. I guess the doors are over a thousand years old built by Din, who was the greatest smith of all time, according to this guy. But someone somehow put a hole in the door, which was an act of sabotage, the second one of today. He needs a special hammer used by Din, and it's locked away in a tower somewhere. It's west of Lovakin, so let's go see if we can get this thing. Oh, it's so beautiful. I'm gonna break in. Good news, the tower holding the greatest hammer ever used by any smith ever with powers of building a door of a thousand truths or whatever is, uh, it's unlocked. The front door was, was extremely unlocked. Bad news, uh, I have to solve puzzles. So I tried to think of a way to make this part of the quest entertaining, but I'm giving up, so I'm just gonna give you guys the cliff notes on it. The first puzzle was one of those grab everything out of every storage container you see and then make a mixture of something at just the right dose kind of puzzles. You gotta put liquid in a container, transfer it to a different container, drink some of it, spit some out, out, pour it all on the ground, do a backflip until you get the measurement you need. I did that one with no help at all. Check my browser history. Just don't look past an hour ago. The second puzzle was one of those Harry Potter potion puzzles where you have to find the right potion based on cryptic clues of which potions next to the other potions. I also did that one with no help. I'm extremely smart and gifted. I never had anything below a B on my report cards. The third puzzle was like a more complicated chicken fox grain puzzle. I just had to move rings around until they were all in the middle one. Solve that one with my eyes closed probably. The last puzzle was in the basement. It was one of those puzzles you gotta turn the tiles around and then make a path meet the end. I couldn't find an NPC I could pay 200k to so I could skip this part so I just had to use my extremely large brain. And that worked. And if you claim I used a guide for that part, uh, I didn't even have internet during this part so that wouldn't be possible. I finally unlocked the case. I grabbed the hammer, teleported out as everything exploded behind me. Just gave him the hammer. He's happy. I'm happy. Now we head back to Lady Lovaken because I would like rewards now I think. The human seems a bit lost. You know, I could probably overthrow you pretty easily, so... You know, maybe it'd be nice. In celebration of me saving the entire universe by keeping the winter tot locked up, Lady Lova will be having another alcoholic beverage. You know what? This is fine. If this was like the old days, I'd be getting alcohol for them, and that would be the entire quest. There'd be no puzzles. It would just be making a drink. That'd be the whole quest. Alright, quest complete. World saved, probably. Ladies and gentlemen, I've been waiting a long time to start this grind. It's probably the biggest grind I've ever had to do. We've got the biggest and most important quest next. I've got some 70s to grind out. I'm sure it won't take too long. When I first started by release, the most intense grind I had done up to that point was a, a quest cape, but not as if RuneScape was a single player game. I don't know a lot of people that like trading these skills, these these five wonderful beautiful skills, especially farming, herblore, and construction, because those are probably the worst skills to train as an Iron Man. To kick off the grind, I started with birdhouse runs to train Hunter and get seeds for farming trees. Holy shit! That was a lot of fucking bird nests from one thing, that was like the record for me. Oh, I need to watch Jimmy do a birdhouse run. Yeah. It's got four nests in one house. Holy shit, another forfer! I don't think I've ever seen you this excited about the game. Yeah.
It's called acting. Can you shut the fuck up for once? <laughs> oh no, everything's dead. Everything's dying. My herbs died. Sad face. I just cured mine in time. Wish we could all be that lucky. My herbs are natty. No magical chemicals. What are you trying to say? I use all natural ingredients to help my herbs. No evil magics. My magic eyes isn't natural. No. Oh. I was training herblore when I could. I was farming trees and herbs going on runs. No one had ever witnessed such efficiency before. In fact, during one of my streams, everyone was asking me how I do it. You know, like, how can we farm as good as you do? So, I did everyone a favor, and I showed him exactly how to do it. I think we do a no teleport farm run together after this. <laughs> <laughs> Little group farming sesh. God damn, those quest capes are looking good. Ooh, look at that. Not a single dead plant. Get to farming, everyone. Get to farming. Stop being lazy. I brought no seeds. It's a farming run. You guys are acting a fool right now. Don't embarrass me. We're gonna be walking to Falador. Do not teleport there. If you teleport there, you're dead to me. We walk there. Northern UIM. Shepard, are you allowed to be in here? How did you get here? I haven't watched your new episode yet. I don't go on YouTube a lot unless it's to check mean comments on my own videos, so. Oh, Slayer Ring. Okay. Now I don't need to watch your video. Thanks for the spoiler. Going too fast? No, I'm not. I like how I've got one of my mods saying that I'm a lure. We're gonna do a lap. It's a good idea. And do not run on this lap. You walk this lap. Oh my god. Look at that. Look at that guy. You see that? It's my fucking dot. This is hazing. It's not hazing. Okay, it might be a little hazing, but it's not a big deal. I'm gonna wave to all of us. Dude's arm's gonna get so tired, he's gonna wave for 60 minutes straight. <laughs> My lap count is two. I literally had 60 agility before I could do any rooftops at all, so I didn't get to be here. Oh man, does this let multiple people in? Oh no, this is gonna take a year. Oh no. Oh no, and there's... Oh no, this is... Okay, here we go. Just gotta wait for everybody to get through the gate. Click the gate, it's not that hard. Oh no. <laughs> Alright, this next one's mine. Alright, this one- this one's mine. Alright, this next one's mine. Okay, this one's mine. Okay, I'll get in through now. Okay, this one's me. Okay, for sure this one's me. Oh! Oh! Oh man, I'm lightheaded. Oh god, I just hit a bat by accident. Honestly, by the time we finish this route, we'll be ready to go back in a circle and do it again. I think all our, our trees will be done too. Oh, that's actually true. We need to do a lap here. I almost forgot. Good point. Don't fall. That'd be so embarrassing. I'm gonna be watching. I'm gonna be watching for, for someone to fall. You guys better all make it. I've never been more stressed on a lap. Why? It's relaxing. Did the new league start? Yeah, this is the new leagues. No! My sweet corn! There's a lot of standing around, but I'll just tr try and pretend you guys are just like really fast and we've done it already. We'll do the lap. We have to. We'll, we'll do it. I haven't done a lap here since the fucking league. I think the craziest part about all this is we look so good doing this. It's one thing to be so efficient, but another to look amazing while we do it. Wait, that was my first one? We we're finally members walking through the gate together. Protect? No, you don't need to protect me. I'm fine. That person's not. That person needs help. Dude, this is the first time I've gone to this patch in like the last three days where there's nothing dead. This is huge. Get serious, everybody. No! Look at those quest capes, dude. Look at that. God damn. On three. You guys better get this right, man. <laughs> I was a little scattered, just a little bit. Looks still pretty, looks pretty good, though. Look at that. Beautiful. Good work, everybody. Except for like two of you. Fall in, everybody. Fall in. It's farming time. Oh, you bet we're doing a Sears lap. Don't you worry. Do not run this lap. I swear to God. Oh, yeah. I gotta see if. Oh, someone. Two, two people fell. Two people fell. That's so embarrassing. We gotta walk on the road. You don't want to be caught in those that forest back there. It's the last place you want to be caught. Oh, fuck. My sweet corn. <laughs> All right. Get to farming. Get to raking. Get to planting. Dude, I've tried sinking that. that emote up and it is honestly it's so hard to get the timing right it's probably one of the hardest ones to get synced up with people <laughs> it's so hard it's pretty close there's a lot of, a lot of people in sync damn a lot of sweet corn today this is just another reason they need to put sailing in the game imagine how cool it would be if all of us could get on a fucking boat together like we get on our own boats and we have a fleet we just have a fleet going to Karend. How sick would that be? Dude, I see you guys running. I see it. I see it. Where's that at? Right here. Okay. Yeah, we got a Hasidious. All right, I guess we gotta get to raking. <laughs> I don't even like Jimmy that much. There's not enough raking happening. What's going on? Nice. We did it. The farm walk of the century, baby. If you don't get this right, you're all gonna go plow in the fields. We're gonna watch you guys as you plow in the fucking fields. So you better get this right. Dude, they did not want to plow, dude. They did not want to plow. 
fucking field. <laughs> I gotta plow, cause I I just tried to dish it out. Like I gotta serve my sentence. I'll plow, dude. If we walk back to Mauritania, our our herbs will be done. <laughs> we did good. Proud of you guys. It wasn't like a charity walk or anything. No one really benefited from that, but you know, we it happened. In between everything, I decided to get 70 agility. So that was the first 70 I got done. I killed a spore every day. I ran out of seeds a lot. This guy wanted to take a screenshot with me, and I think that was probably the coolest I've ever felt in a really long time. I never thought I'd be a guy worth taking a screenshot next to, so it was kind of a cool moment for me. I was making every potion I could. I was just hoping at some point I could unlock like an antidepressant potion. It never came along, but you know, I, th I gotta do the quest. But at least some of the potions I was making were actually ones I would use, and I'll admit, I did feel like an adult making them. The day finally came when I got 70 farming. Oh my god. Dude. Dude. You're done. Now you have to just do two more skills, which are both awful. <laughs> Try three, motherfucker. <laughs> Let's do oh. this. <laughs> would you believe me if I told you that her real name was Taylor Swift? No. I still don't care. Yeah, Ooh. Still don't care. Dude, people were wondering why I wasn't doing pickpocketing instead of getting fucking moss giant kills and this is exactly why it's just miserable it is miserable i would much rather just click every once in a while it's like they designed it for like denied gratification yeah constant denied gratification it is when they do those like trailer ads for runescape that's what they should actually show <laughs> yeah <laughs> i needed red spider eggs for the herb lore grind so i tried out serachnus flutton was over my shoulder teaching me how to do it since she's like rank 42 on the hardcore iron man high scores for it First so I did it for a little bit, but wasn't having too much fun doing it. So I just did something more my speed and went to the Tower of Life. I liked that way a lot better. I got crafting up for some reason. Then I finally got Herb Lord to 70. I was happy for all of five minutes and then I remembered I still had to do construction. I almost forgot about 70 Hunter. I figured I would just take a break from my normal routines and get that done. I only had construction left, which meant I had to make a lot of money. And historically, I have severely struggled with making money on this account, but this had been the most RuneScape I had played in a really long time and I got hit with a classic burnout and it was also around this time when I started up the prop hunt videos and I got really into some video essay ideas again so it wasn't intentional but I'm pretty sure I went like three months without logging in just kind of took a break and focused on other projects but I knew this meant that I was going to be able to come back fresh and in March I did come back and grinded to 70 construction with the mythic cape racks I finally got all the requirements done and I was ready to get after it July 25th, 2019, Quest 143, Song of the Elves. The last four years of grinding have led up to this quest, and yes, three of those years could have easily been shed off if I just logged in sometimes, but that doesn't matter. We're here, and we're starting the final chapter of the Elf series. I have not seen a quest complete screen for almost an entire year, like 10 months. I'm excited, I'm feeling good. Shut up. I'm so excited to quest again, dude. I've truly missed it so much. Edmund, what's going on? It's been a long time. How we doing? You guys aren't gonna believe this, but Elena's been taken. We've come full circle. The first time I'd met Elena, she had also been taken, but this time the Knights of Ardoin have taken her since she was apparently trying to incite a rebellion against the king, telling people the plague isn't real. These are some crazy allegations she's making, so you know. Jail. Start the Song of the Elves quest. Yeah, I suppose we can do that. I'm telling Edmund this is probably just a misunderstanding. I'm gonna try to talk to the king. Get everything handled. He's got nothing to worry about. There's no possible way I get her out, dude. Elena's fucked. Well, well, well. If it isn't King Lathis. He's confirmed Elena is in prison. She's been making heinous accusations. What, that the plague is fake? Exactly. Right, but the plague is fake. He's saying the plague was a necessary evil and Elena was risking everything. King Tyrus is dead, but the Dark Lord is still a threat, apparently. Update, he's not gonna be freeing Elena. I'm sure Edmund will be very accepting of this news. He'll understand completely. Yeah, so he said Elena was a threat to Ardoin, and uh, he's, she's staying. She's not getting out of prison. Why does he think that way? Well, it's because the plague is a lie, Edmund. Uh, that's why she's in jail. The plague is a lie? What do you mean the plague is a lie? Edmund, you're clearly still in the Plague City lore era right now, so uh, let me explain this in the most simple way possible. See, Edmund, it all started a few years ago. I came to this town for the first time, and I got hired to get rid of some plagued sheep because they were a threat to public safety. They were 
all weirdly colored and gross, so I herded them into a pen, I poisoned them one by one, and burned their remains so that there was no more evidence of their existence. The next day, I met you. You had me break into this plague-infested land of West Ardoin to find your daughter. I freed Elena, and as a reward, you taught me how to teleport back here to this wonderful, plague-infested, disease, pandemic, bullshit town. So a few days later, I figured, you know, I saved your daughter from prison. She was kind of hot. Uh, maybe I see if she wants to hook up or something. I don't know. But when I went over, she figured maybe I would want to infiltrate West Ardoin again because I seem like a dope guy. Now, at this point, I'm thinking, I don't want to do that. I kind of just want to get laid, Edmund. But hey, maybe that'll be the reward for this quest. So I infiltrated the Mourner HQ by poisoning nearly every Mourner in there. I mean, all of them. And then I impersonated a doctor so they'd let me in and cure all the sick ones. But that's not what I did. Instead, I went upstairs to their lost and found, found the thing Elena was wanting. I killed the guy guarding it and I put it in my pocket and left. I heroically brought it over to her. There wasn't any reward. In fact, my reward was more questing. She wants me to take this stuff to some chemist in Remington and then smuggle everything into Varrock. So then I hire some criminals to smuggle all this stuff into Varrock and I disguise as a priest. I let some dude run the sample and he goes, get this, the plague is a lie. So I go back to Elena, figured she'd be stoked since the plague stuff isn't real. Turns out she wants me to march up to the king and confront him about the whole thing. I mean, it was my second day there, Edmund. Uh, what does she expect me to do? But you know, the things us men do for sex, am I right? I went up there to the king and I said, hey, what gives? Plague's fake? And he just casually confirms it to me and he tells me it's protecting people from a far greater danger, whatever that means. Something about his brother, King Tyrus, who's corrupted by the Dark Lord. West Ardoin was serving as a barrier between his brother and the rest of RuneScape. King Latha sends me on this mission to defeat some demigod named Ivan, who says he's the son of Zamorak. And I mean, come on, I was just herding sheep the other day. So I agreed. Demigod murdering it is. But then it turns out I had to go through this cave area called the Underground Pass. And honestly, I think that was just the king trying to kill me. I think that was his first attempt. Uh, I go through this whole dangerous area with puzzles, obstacles. I, I fell about a hundred feet multiple times. Broke all of my legs, all two of them. I had to kill some demons. I stole something from a witch. It was run by spiders. I hate spiders. And then this weird Zamorak sun guy was actually there. And he almost killed me. He almost did. But I just threw a doll made of a bunch of his stuff down a well and he died. So then I won. And then I went back to King Lathis to tell him the good news, but now he wants me to go kill his brother. I don't know if this was like a test or something, but apparently that's my next assignment. I, I don't even know if I'm getting paid for this. But I mean, what am I gonna do? Say no? I, I mean, he knows that I know about the plague. I, I gotta do what he wants. So I go back through the underground pass. I get out the other side and suddenly... I'm being interrogated by elves. Yeah, Edmund, elves are real. They're just r right over there on the other side of those mountains for th thousands of years. That's where they've been. They haven't moved once. I got mixed up with a bunch of them and they had me make a bomb to catapult into the Tyrus base. I made it. I launched that shit in there. I blew up the tent or something and it took out King Tyrus. I start strolling back to Ardoin to tell Lathis the good news. And then this guy Arianwin shows up, some rebel elf guy. And he tells me King Lathis is actually the bad guy here. And I just killed the good guy. Great. So I head back to Elfland and I meet these elves. They don't trust me, so I do some weird ritual to an old elven person's burial ground. That was pretty cool of me. So then they like me. They trust me suddenly, kind of. And then they take me to their cool elven camp. They tell me about how the mourners in West Ardoin are actually Iowerth elves, that gang that made me make the bomb. And these guys want me to go undercover again. I find a mourner guy in a secluded area. I kill him, take his stuff, and get going. I go to that HQ I poisoned all those people at before, and I find this scary elf dude who's running shit. He tells me it's my job to keep the Ardoin people believing in the plague. So he tells me to re-dye the sheep outside Ardoin. And boy, did I feel silly, Edmund. The sheep I murdered at the start turned out to just be ordinary sheep. And now I'm the one dying them for the next person to come along and get hired to kill those sheep. I'm just a part of this vicious cycle of dying sheep. That's a double entendre, Edmund. Ever heard of it? So I do that, come back, and then he tells me someone has poisoned their stew recently. Wonder who that could have been. And he wants me to do the same thing to the regular people of West Ardoin. So why go ahead? I poison all of their food. I'm just I'm the poison guy now. And now this guy trusts me, so he tells me that their plan is to delve deep into this mountain and make a tunnel towards the Temple of Light so that it'll be easier to resurrect their Dark Lord. So I go back to Elf Camp and I let them know. Their next course of action is to have me do more things for them. It is suddenly my job to go back and uh, stop that whole operation somehow. I get back in disguise. I start working my way towards that Temple of Light place. I start vandalizing. You know, I took some crystal looking thing. I bring it to the elves and they do some elf stuff to it and then they'd send me back so that I could put that elf crystal uh, back where I found it but now it's it's elfified anyway I, I've got to solve all these fucking puzzles with mirrors and lights 
kind of sucked, but I made a song, so that was cool. But I get to the end, and there's a death altar, and a dwarf is already in there. They dug in from the back through that underground area I was at doing the puzzles earlier. In exchange for 50 items, uh, he gives me a death talisman. And then I use that crystal on the death altar, and it does some weird elf shit, and then I put it back at the beginning. And I guess since I did that, I stopped people from entering the temple for another thousand years somehow. So, uh, I saved the world, I think, which made sense, because that is on brand for me. I do that a lot. And now all is well, except for, once again, Elena. The only thing unwell right now. So, there's that. Edmund was probably daydreaming that entire time and didn't hear a word of that, but he told me I need to disguise myself as a knight of Ardoin and infiltrate the prison. Wow, disguising myself and infiltrating areas I shouldn't be. This is an original idea, Edmund. Good work. I, I hope I can pull off something like a disguise. I need to bring him steel armor and red dye and his wife can help me with the tabard. I've got my disguise. Damn, I look good. But this might not pass. Just give me one second. Now we're talking. That's a night of Ardoin. Okay, nice and easy. We've done this plenty of times before. Evening, gentlemen. All right, this guy's standing guard. I'm pretty sure down those stairs is where I need to go. I gotta say something so he's not suspicious of me. I'm just standing here. I've been standing here a long time. Duh. <sighs> That was close. Oh, you can actually talk to him. Good day. Hello there, fellow knight. Isn't today a wonderful day to be a knight of Ardoin? The constant fear of some random adventurer murdering you and the fact that people are constantly picking your pockets isn't great. But hey-ho, at least the benefits are good. You know what the best benefit actually is? You'll never be out of money. No one's ever tried to steal from one of these guys and got a message saying, this knight's out of money. It's never happened. Anyway, can I go down? Of course you can, you're a knight of Ardoin. There's no place where you can't go. Okay, I like you. Oh no, I'm immediately getting yelled at. Who are you? I... Tim? Tim? Changing one letter? That's- that's what I've come up with. I'm an idiot! Tim? Yes, Tim. This is by far the best disguise I've ever had, and it's the only one that's not gonna work. You don't look like much of Tim. Well, just don't flip that T around with that font, and, uh, I'm Tim. What are you doing here, Tim? Just here on guard duty. Very well. As you were, Tim. The guy upstairs was excited that I showed up. What's your problem? Okay, there's actually already a total of three knights down here. I show up to say I'm the fourth to guard two prisoners. I guess it kind of makes sense why he was on to me. What do you want? Oh, Elena. You look... Different. We're talking to Elena to start Biohazard. She was trying to find a cure for this whole plague thing going on. How long has it been, Elena? What are you... How are you? What are you doing later? What am I doing here? This is my new job, Elena. What do you think I'm doing here? Are you crying? What is that blue thing? Did someone put a blue tear on your character model? It's awful in here. The smell from that mugger. What? Oh. Wow. It's a scary guy. What's your plan? I don't have one. Aren't you meant to be an adventurer? How do you normally do this sort of thing? I usually just make it up as I go along. Unless it's a puzzle. Then someone on Wikipedia makes it up and I copy what they did. So I guess there's an iron grate in her cell and she wants to melt it so she can get down into the sewers. Wait, wait, Elena, Elena, shut up, shut up for a second. The other guard's coming. Um... Yeah, and then we're gonna tie your ankles to a horse and let it run. I don't know where we're gonna find a horse, but there's bound to be one somewhere. A nice big horse to run you around for a while. Okay, he's gone. I'm gonna go grab a vial of clear, thick liquid from Elena's house, and she can use that to escape. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go to the bathroom. I'll be- I'll be back. I feel like a jail wouldn't be above a sewer with a variety of escape routes, and even then, they wouldn't put a convenient metal grate in the cell itself. Two feet outside the cell would be a million times safer in design. Okay, I got the liquid. Hello everyone, I'm back from my bathroom break, the very real one I just took. Okay, Elena can escape, allegedly, uh, but can I escape? I can't just take two bathroom breaks so close to each other, I just walked back in here ten seconds ago. Oh, sh oh no, I forgot to- forgot to wipe. I don't care, man. They're never seeing me again. They don't even know who I am. I just let Edmund know that Elena is free, and I guess he's already spoken to her and had a full-fledged conversation about it, which is wild considering I gave her that liquid about 24 seconds ago. Interesting, Edmund. Very interesting indeed. Elena's hiding out in the Renison household in West Ardoin, so let's go see what's up. Time to change into a classic disguise. I always hated this one. Where are you hiding her? I know she's in here. Where is she? <laughs> I'm just kidding, man. It's just me by release. Oh, apparently there's a resistance down there. A whole ass resistance. Good. By release. Yeah? Thank you so much for helping to get me out of there. So this quest has two options for dialogue with Elena. Hopelessly romantic or socially unaware. Let's fall for the writer's bait here and give hints at starting romance with her. I couldn't leave you to rot. I care about you, Elena. I said, knowing I haven't spoken to her in four years. I care about you as well, by release. Thank you for not forgetting about me. So this is the Ardoin Resistance. Elena started it up after I told her about the King's Plague Lie. She was trying to go around recruiting people to the Resistance and got herself locked up. 
up. Counselor Halgrive here, who works right under King Lathus, has developed a plan. We'll have to resort to some dirtier tactics. That's what I'm talking about, Counselor. We've got ourselves a quest. What are you thinking? Any actions you perform in that disguise will seem like they were ordered by the king. Oh, so you want me to start making the rounds and, and killing? Killing innocents, Counselor? Is that what we're thinking here? A little mourner killing? Sorry. Elena is having a lot of moral dilemmas right now, which is really not ideal for a resistance leader. Elena, if you're all barking no bite, get back on your Twitter. Snap out of it. We gotta build up a resistance by pissing off both sides of our doin. I'm gonna ask the dudes down here what they think I should do exactly. Jethic is suggesting an increase in taxes. Classic move. But these two sketchballs want me to send the doctors and nurses away to a fake training program so no one can get medical help. That'll definitely piss people off. Maybe even kill them. Now you, Carla, what's your quirky idea? Oh my god. She wants me to burn the food stocks in West Ardoin and claim it's to protect people from the plague. Basically starving the population in a very real way. Jesus, Carla, what the fuck? I think we just found our new resistance leader. Let's get after it. Okay, so raise taxes, take away health care, and burn food to starve the population. This quest is badass, dude. You're getting taxed, priest. Where am I gonna find the money? I don't know what to tell you. Bring a bigger basket to pass around this Sunday, baby. I'll see you then. Oh no, plagued food. I'll handle this. The people need that food. Take it up with the king. I'm just doing my job. Can I talk to people around here? What are they saying? Shit, I misclicked. No. Oh, God. No, sorry. I'm sorry. Thought it was a talk option. I hope no one saw that. Or do I? You all saw that, right? You know, I kind of feel bad about this whole thing, but I mean, how else are... Whoa. Ma'am. Ma'am, do not do that. Please, I don't- God damn it. It's not supposed to be any direct casualties. It's supposed to happen passively because of my actions over time. Are you threatening me? Just think of me next time you're in a dark alley because I'll be waiting for you. Not if I starve you first, level three woman. You can't do this. I already have. All right, just told the nurse to get out of here and train. We've got 40 resistance members on this side. Now for the east. I've got business to take care of. Would you like to buy a drink? Not with these new taxes, I don't. The king's ordered new taxes to help fund his extensive collection of gnomish ornaments. These people love me. Statistically, someone should have shot me by now. No way I'm still here walking. Doc, you've been sucking a lot at doctor things. Go train. We were hoping to use that money to build an orphanage for those who lost their parents to the plague. Oh, father. You know damn well there's no plague, so there can't be any orphans. Man, we are good at our job. Checking back in, and it looks like we've got the numbers to go face to face with the army of the biggest city in RuneScape. It's just that easy. Before we raid East Ardoin, we have to wipe out the mourners on this side. Ready to begin? Oh, I'm ready. Today's the day of plague's end. Oh, he said it! He said the name of the quest! Wait, actually, that's, uh, it's a different video game. False alarm. False alarm, everyone. Whoa, we are in war, suddenly. Good evening. What if this Ardoin guard brought a four-way switch? What would you do then, mourner? Wait, steel axes? We've got our guys using steel axes? I have like 70 smithing. I could have made everyone gear or weapons or something. Well, that's all of them up here. We're heading downstairs. Oh no, it's the scary Welsh Isleworth elf officer, Asilt. You. I knew you were trouble. How do you even know who I am right now currently? I'm wearing a helmet. You're bluffing. You're just saying things to look cool. All right, see you later. More war. Take that, you mourners. All right, take it easy over there, gnome. You've only got one sock left. No one thought we could pull it off. Except for literally all of us once I pulled out a fire cape and dragon weaponry. We're regrouped and it's time to take the battle to East Ardoin and take care of King Lathus. We don't need to resupply. This is war. We need all the momentum we can get. Can't stop now. Let's do this. Let me tell you something. The greatest opponents of war are those who wear no helmets. Good luck, fellas. Is Elena using her fist to fight a man with a sword and shield right now? Is that what I'm looking at? Okay, fine. I'll take my helmet off and look dope. It seems Elena has equipped the invisible cloak of infinite health because nobody's taking her down. They can't. Elena, is that you or a roller coaster? What's going on with this line? <laughs> Maybe I should stop making shitty jokes and help out, perhaps. Sorry, Elena, I'm having fun. I guess it makes sense why Elena came unarmed. She'd be insanely OP if she had any form of weapon. You can't have unlimited health and a weapon. It doesn't, you can't do that.
And they found King Lathus. Hey, King Lathus, how are you? We're calling him out on lying about the plague and murdering his brother. You are aware that his killer stands with you, are you not? They're nothing more than a mercenary. All they care about is the big pot of gold at the end. Lathus, I think the most I've made from a quest is like 6k. If I'm doing quests to be a mercenary, I'm a fucking idiot. You know what, guys? I think we chop this guy's head off in front of the whole freaking town. Teach him a lesson. Oh my god, they're actually gonna do it. I was just trying to provide some comedic relief. I didn't think anyone would take me seriously. They're throwing tomatoes at him. Pretty sure this used to be a random event back in the day, except it was a homeless guy throwing tomatoes at you. Hey, you didn't get your head chopped off. After all this time, Lathus is finally going to pay for what he's done. It's like I should feel something, but I just feel empty. Well, Elena, that's because you don't get any quest points for this. It's way cooler if you get quest points. You're also not sentient, which might explain the feeling empty part. Oh wow, they hired a Birthorp guy to kill him. Wow, that guy just hit a 48 with a steel halberd. Well, looks like a job well done. We're all wrapped up here. Our doing is saved. Ladies and gentlemen, that is quest complete. Where, where am I? Is this another ad? Whoa, that's the elves. And you guys look way cooler than I remember. Shit. You know, after you killed King Tyrus, I thought you might have some potential. Might have properly welcomed you into our ranks. You'd have been the first human among us. The fuck was that? I don't work with murderers, I said, having murdered tens of thousands of things. You seemed happy to kill King Tyrus when it suited you. Burnt him alive in the middle of his own camp, if I recall. Dude, I don't know if King Tyrus is even a real person, but I've definitely done an elf slayer task at this very camp, and I find it weird that you're not mentioning that. Let me deal with them? Bring it on, idiots. Elena has unlimited health, and you guys let me keep my sword when you knocked me out. Oh. Wow, it's Arianwin and other good guys that don't have names. Arianwin's accusing Iworth of being a Zamorakian scumbag, trying to summon the Dark Lord with King Lathus. But Iworth was lying to Lathus to get him on their side. They found out that Lathus was into Zamorak and pretended that they also were. He's saying the only god they've ever served is Siren, the goddess of the elves. In fact, their entire expedition of entering the Temple of Light has been to summon Siren. Arianwin mentions that Siren's been dead for a long time, but Iworth's claiming that a part of Siren lives on trapped within the Temple of Light. Arianwin's not believing him. Iworth is taking on the role of a disappointed father right now, apparently, because he's letting us go to go think about what we've done. You know what? I'll be honest. If I had it my way, this would be a fight to the death right now. We would not be walking away peacefully. Never trust anyone who lets you go after you just murdered three of their guys right in front of them. Something is not correct here. They may not know it yet, but the rebels could be great use to us. Oh, look. Dramatic irony, almost. Looks like we're back at Ledia, the rebel elf camp. You played a dangerous game in Ardoin. I fear you may not have considered the outcome of that. Ah, uh, you are 100% correct. Correct. I don't consider outcomes of most things. This was no exception. He wants us to go get, uh, you know, I'm just gonna say Gowan. That's uh, probably how you pronounce that, and if it's not, it is now. We're getting Gowan and Elena and calling a town meeting. So now I'm meant to follow the orders of a human? Gowan, anyone ever tell you you look like you got rich parents? You're a menace. You claim you're here to help, but everywhere you go, you leave a trail of bodies behind. Alright, buddy, how about you leave this fucking village for a day and try surviving without needing to kill a hundred things? It's them or you, Gowan. Wake up. Now get downstairs to that town meeting before I bring my trail up here. Yeah, people take me a lot more seriously when I carry a sword and a mini sword. Oh, look at this. Elena's alone in a romantic pond area, just waiting for us. This feels like the Anakin Padme scene or something. I don't like this. Hey, Elena. Hey, by release. Nope. So, how are you doing, Elena? Why are we saying each other's name in every sentence, Elena? So much has happened so fast, it's a lot to take in. It is. I'm here for you if you need me, though. Thanks. That means a lot. See, that's a red flag. That's not a romantic response. This is where we call the whole operation off. She's playing a mind game with us. She knows we're interested, but she's not reciprocating anything. Look, she's standing above us. She's on a pedestal. Anyway, I wanted to ask you something. Oh my god, she's gonna ask me out finally. The people of Ardoin, the elves here, you've spent a lot of time helping them. Why? What drives you, by release? Oh, uh, I need to fix my mistakes. So it's about what happened with King Tyrus? Do you think you'd still help these elves if that hadn't happened? You know, I actually don't feel like I need to fix my problems. I was kind of just hoping I'd say that and you'd get motivations to fix me and enter a very unhealthy and toxic relationship. Okay, we've made no progress with Elena and she's off to the meeting. 
So we're doing a little debrief. King Lathus is dead, the mourners are out of West Ardoin, and Lord Iowerth has no presence there anymore. Gowan has felt the need to bring up that I helped to lead the uprising, and my actions may have endangered them all. Oh, my bad, Gowan. I didn't realize that you were also on the battlefield with us and not up in your cozy fucking treehouse. Who is this guy and why is he important? While you sat here in your secure little village, we took action. We saved lives. But I guess you're too selfish to care about us. Thank you, Elena. If I hadn't mentally friend-zoned you already, that would have been very attractive. This is a very hostile meeting. <laughs> Arianwin saying we need to make a plan. He's letting the others know of Lord Iowerth's true intentions, freeing Siren, not Zamorak. And it actually appears to be lore time, so buckle up. Lord Iowerth claims he discovered that a part of Siren was still alive within the Temple of Light. Siren was their goddess, guardian, and teacher. Everything they have, they owe to her. She helped build the city of Prifdinus. Prifdinus. Prif. We're gonna say Prif. Where elves could live in harmony. At the end of the God Wars, the gods were banished from the world, but Siren didn't want to leave. So her big idea was to shatter herself into thousands of crystals, and those crystals are all they have left of her. The Grand Library is a great archive beneath Prif, and it granted knowledge to all of Elvenkind. All knowledge except the forbidden knowledge hidden behind nine seals of Siren that only she could access. Lord Iowerth claims he managed to break one of these seals, hence his big discovery of Siren still being alive. We can't check to see if he's telling the truth though. Back when Iowerth took control of Prif, Backstorian and the clan elders made a final ditch attempt to save Prif, and they sang the Song of Inversion to revert the entire city to a crystal sea. It worked, and it stripped the city away from Lord Iowerth, but the city was lost to everyone else too, along with the Grand Library. In the middle of all of this, Lord Iowerth kidnapped Backstorian's wife, Glarial. He couldn't find her, so he sealed himself beneath the waterfall where they lived, never to be seen again. Backstorian was closer to Siren than any other elf, so he might have known how to access the Grand Library. Isselwyn, Backstorian's grandson here, said we might be able to find something to help us at his home at Backstorian Falls. By release, you've been to Backstorian Falls multiple times. You're the best person to take the lead on this. What? Me? Alright, I'll say it. I don't know if this is gonna be shocking to some of you, but, uh, I'm not an elf. I'm not. And I feel like the situation might be fit for an elf. You trust the human with this? Yeah, I'm gonna agree with Dickhead on this one. Okay, Arianwin's gonna come with me, so at least he'll be there. Meeting adjourned. Just doing some casual Gowan shit-talking real quick before we head out. Gowan's husband was apparently killed by a silt, and I guess that dude enjoys the suffering of others, and he's a real sick fuck, so that's why Gowan's lashing out at me. But we have to stay focused. Arianwin's gonna meet us at Backstory and Falls. Here we are, the old falls. Okay, that kid's gotta grow up at some point. He's still looking for the treasure. <laughs> this kid has deprived himself of his entire child waiting for something to happen here. I don't know what he- he's not even looking for a treasure at this point. Somebody get him. Somebody send him home. It's crazy to think that if he found the treasure, he'd probably be the one resurrecting dead elves right now. Alright, we made it in. Arianwin's telling us a sob story about his parents right now. Great. The morale's never been higher. Backstorian's grandson gave us this old book that might give us a clue about something. Lucky for us, I also brought a book for this part. It's called the oldschool.runescape.wiki slash song of the elves, and it bypasses the cryptic stuff and lets us know exactly what to do here. I'm starting to understand why why the elves sent me. I'm like a hundred times more resourceful than any of them are. I've got thousands of people asking me about this fucking episode. I just need to do this. This is a dumb puzzle part. I don't care. Just gotta place objects on their designated pillars and we win. There we go. Hey, look who it is. The Baxman himself. Good to meet you. So we're breaking the news to him that his wife is dead, his kids are dead, and we woke him up just to stress him out a little bit more. Happy backstory and we're happy. But on the bright side, you do have a grandson. He's alive. And I buried Glarial here years ago so that you could be fake dead next to her. You're welcome. You'll have to make your own way back, I'm afraid, by release. Why? You're teleporting back. We're not gonna be seen together. I don't- I don't wanna use a charge on my crystal seed. What the fuck? What a dick. Why'd he do that? Alright, everyone's assembled. What- who is that? What? Oh! Oh my god, that's a real person. I thought they like captured a mourner or something. I was like, I don't remember that part. It's just a guy doing the quest. I'll wait for him to be done out here. I don't wanna ruin his immersion. We filled Backstorian in, and he doesn't believe Iworth's claim about Siren, but he does believe he could have technically broken one of the seals. Siren once told him those who follow the light would be able to access her knowledge, and that probably means something very fun for me in the near future. Back said there might still be a way for us to access the Grand Library. We could, in theory, enter the crystal that Prif became and get to the library that way. If we want to enter the Prif crystal safely, we need to make a potion. A potion? Sounds like my area of expertise. Elena, you're gonna get us both killed. Are you insane? You can't just yell things out at the elf meetings. It's gotten into you. Sorry about that, everyone. Okay, Elena is handling the potion, though, so... Hey, by release. Hey, Elena. Backstorian is an interesting one, isn't he? 
What? He lost his wife, his people, and kingdom. Now he's in a strange place, surrounded by strange people, helping to fight a war that he lost a long time ago. Yeah. Right. How about anything positive, Elena? Anything in that genre, you think? Elena's gotta leech my supplies. Very good for me. Alright everyone, here's the one singular click that called for months of agonizing training and procrastination. Basically the entire reason why this episode took this long. Ready? That was it. Great work, everyone. We did it. Checking in with Ariane when in Backstorian. They want me to locate the old clan elders, because they know how to get past the defenses that Iorth put into place on the Prif Crystal. We have to find Lord Amlod and Lady Trehearn. Bax gave me a mysterious crystal seed to find one of them, and Aluna just enchanted it for me, so I'm gonna try using it and hope it doesn't make me explode or something. Oh, you know, I like this guy a lot. He thought to himself, one day someone's gonna need me for a quest and I want them to find me easily. So I'm gonna make a teleport device directly to where I'm at. No hassle, nothing. This guy's dope. I asked if he's Lord Amlod and he responded by asking me to describe the valley in front of us. Since it's a copy and paste enchanted valley, uh, I'd like to say boring, but since there's a level 15 stag in there, I'm gonna say dangerous. He thought I was being metaphorical, but that stag would kill anything given the chance. He's off to Ledia. Lady Trehearn's next. The clue is, I will journey south from the well. I'm gonna take a gamble and say it's this well near the underground pass. Oh, look, an inconspicuous rock area south of the well. Climbing in. I'm guessing that sketchball's the person we're looking for. She's in a deep sleep and her exoskeleton is damaged. Oh, that's no problem. I'll just smack her with a hammer as hard as I can a few times. Nap time's over, it's war time, go. Dude, imagine Elena let it die while she's just standing around it. I would join Iorth's side so fast, dude. This would be a completely different story. Aryanwin just gave me a crystal seed to crush up so I can finish off the potion. And that's that. He's gonna call the others and discuss our plan for the Grand Library. Lord Amlod is announcing he can send in one of us to the Grand Library at a time. I propose we send by release in. Yeah, is that what you propose? How about you go in, you royal little fuck? You don't want to impress your grandpa doing something cool? Or is this how you're doing it? Is this what, is this your way of impressing him? Volunteering me. Honestly, I think I'm starting to side with Gowan. Surely an elf has to go in and get the elf knowledge from the elf goddess in the elf library. Am I insane? Does that sound crazy to everyone else? What the fuck? Why? Because they're not an elf? Yes, that's one of the thousand reasons of why it should not be me to go in. Have any of you done anything since I got here? Starting to notice a little trend here I'm not too happy about. Were you there when Siren made those seals, boy? This lady's gonna pull the age card on logic. The human was capable enough to find me and fix my exoskeleton. I hit you with a hammer. Hard. Maybe I do it one more time. I don't think you're fixed all the way. Aryanwin is now proposing that I get sent in. Anyone disagree? Uh, yes. Uh, by release disagrees. Does that vote count at all? The one going in? Come on, somebody here. Alunid, back me up. Who do I know here? I don't know any of these people. Elena, help me out here. Tell him we gotta grow more herbs or something. Talk to Lord Amlod when you're ready. God damn it. Fine. I'll go. But if I'm going, I'm bringing human-made resources in with me. None of this cryptic elf book bullshit. We're gonna be the first ones to step foot in the Grand Library for hundreds of years. And we're gonna love every second of it, probably. If you remember Morning's End Part 2, you may recall a very notorious light puzzle. That light puzzle's got a big brother, and it's located exactly where we're going. But that doesn't even matter, because if there's one thing you need to know about me, it's that... I'm simply not scared of lights. <laughs> Waited too long, and now they don't trust me I'll find your song, I'm just a little rusty Chill out man, by release is a professional The library grand, but I'm like Dewey Decimal Deep in the stacks with the paper piled up I'm three floors high, feeling like a mile up All I see is shells, everywhere that I look All by myself, and a million elf books Gotta be me, none of them will make it back I'm searching for proof so they can take it back This library decked out, place is brand new I can't check out, cause this is overdue Telling me to hurry up to get an impatient Calm down please, I'm barely getting a payment Don't look down, I don't fuck with heights Just look straight ahead, it's all the lights Now everywhere I look Surrounded by the books I know it took so long But now I gotta find the song Of the elves The song of the elves Wild ass puzzle but it's nothing to me Left, right, up, down like a PS2 cheat I love the way that these mirrors be reflecting I hope no one's back there thinking about defecting Cover wheel puzzle and I'm the one steering Siren telling stories, can't believe what I'm hearing I think she kinda crazy, screwed her own people But she made sure the elves ain't getting a sequel She was trying to save them, that shit backfired Telling me she
she fucked up and this ain't satire Infinite regret, all with good intentions Now she locked up in another dimension I said, hold that thought, I don't wanna hear it Just tell me about this alleged evil spirit No matter what it is, cause I'm about to clear it She said, please, by release, don't get near it Now everywhere I look, surrounded by the books I know it took so long, but now I gotta find the song The song of the elves The song of the elves The song of the elves So we just unraveled a lot. I'm gonna go back to Ledia and fill everyone in. So here's what we learned. Siren found the elves, they loved her, she loved them, and she was upset that the elves could die. So she gave pieces of herself to them so they could live much longer lives, like thousands of years longer. It turned out to be a curse because if the distance between her and an elf was too far, it would literally start killing them. They had to be close to her at all times. Wherever she went, they would have to go too. Gowan, do not interrupt me right now, the adults are speaking. So they created Prif and lived there, content as could be. Realizing she fucked up, she tried to counter the curse by creating a dark, evil fragment of her Herself for some weird reason. Logic was a little flawed there, and uh, big surprise, it went wrong immediately. It tried destroying Siren, so she locked it away where she created it, and it's still there, just chilling in a dark area inside the Temple of Light. Gowan, if I wanted to lie, I'd make it a lot funnier. Aryanwin's having an existential crisis right now because he's been fighting Lord Iworth his whole life, thinking he was an evil Zamorak leader. I don't understand how Iworth's religion is getting his brain all weird. He's still an awful person who pillaged elves for decades, killed a lot of people, and Zamorak didn't play a role in any of that. If anything, this makes Iworth look even worse because now he can't fall back on the Zamorak thing. He's just a shitty guy. Aryanwin just put Backstorian in charge. I guess he's gonna go cry in a bush somewhere. Backstorian wants me to go get two more elven elders. Lord Lord Cries and Lady Heaven. Lord Cries' clue is the trees of my home will call to me, which means absolutely nothing. We are in the biggest forest on the planet. The clue for the other one is I will walk across the water to the south. And that one I can figure out. Okay, I'm feeling like a lunatic. I've had these Iworth teleports in my bank for like two years, and I think now would be the perfect time to use them when everyone there wants me shot and killed. Evening? Wow, you guys are not even trying. That was embarrassing. Okay, I'm actually curious here. How the hell would you find this thing without a guide? The trees of my home will call to me. That's the most vague thing I've ever heard in the worst place to hear it. Would I just swing at every tree in this forest until I found him? And what is wrong with this stick trap? Just step over it. Just step over it. Please just step over it. What is going on? Jagex. Oh, hello. Oh, you're not a tree. Maybe leave a better clue next time. What the hell was that? Okay, the water one's easy. Yeah, see? Stones to hop across. If I fall off any of them, I'm logging out. Okay, I guess I'm staying on. Guessing this is Lady Heffin. Okay, she's off to Lydia. Time for another town meeting. Yeah, where is Arion one? Someone go find his crying bush. He needs to be here for this. So the orb that would let us into the dark, scary place is gone, and I guess Lord Iworth has it. Gowan went on a scouting mission and found out it's at the Iworth camp. See, I want to hate this guy, but he's also the only one that's done literally anything to help out. So even though I blocked off the Temple of Light for a thousand years, our dwarf friends brute forced their way in through the back, and that'll be the one way Iworth has to get inside. I'm gonna go fetch the orb. Not a big deal, I've done this exact quest with the gnomes before, so it'll be easy for me. Hello, elves, I'm back. A lot scarier looking this time, though. Into the cave we go. Who are you? Tim? <laughs> well, prepare to die, Tim. I think I've come for the orb would have been a better line for me there, but that was pretty good. And see you later. Orb acquired. Back to camp. Backstorian's worried that Gowan is not being loyal and might be a traitor. I personally don't get those vibes. I think that Gowan would have loved to do everything they've volunteered me to do so far. I haven't offered to do anything. I've been volunteered for everything. Thing, so he's probably not a traitor. He's the only one that's done anything. He said Elena saw him leave the camp earlier, so I'm gonna go see what she's up to. Hey, by release. Hey, Elena. How's it going? It's crazy how big it all is. Our little fight in our doing seems so small now. I'm surprised it hasn't made you run for the hills. <laughs> <laughs> No, but why are you still here? It's about closure, I guess. I need to know that he'll never hurt them again. What do you think should happen to him if we win? I've tried to dedicate my life to helping people, healing them. I think all lives are valuable, even the lives of people like Lord Iowerth. I don't think killing him is justice, though. Maybe that makes me weak, but that's how I feel. He needs to pay for what he's done, though. And also, I really want to kill. I'm not trying to act better than anyone. I just want to make sure we've considered every option. Elena! You make me upset in weird ways. I'm asking if she saw Gowan leave the village. I did. I don't know where he went, though. Hmm. 
That's annoying. <laughs> My guy is over it, dude. We gotta wrap this shit show up. We're gonna hunt Gowan down like an animal and track his footsteps. Well, well, well. What do we have here? Fucking owl. Gowan having a casual conversation in a discreet area of the forest with an Iowerth guy? Very interesting. Okay, so the traitor here is actually the Iowerth guy. He's been an informant for us. It's how we knew about the orb. I'm sorry, Gowan. Holy shit, I would never click that. You could not pay me real money. To click that. So I guess the rebels do actually have a traitor, and they told Lord Iowerth where Ledia was. So that entire village is compromised. Great! Oh my god! Wow! This place was not on fire five minutes ago. Fire release. Elena, yes! Perfect time to talk. How are you? Gowan's ordering we go help the citizens. And and what about the bad guys? I have really intimidating armor and cool sword. Okay. I guess we'll be helping out a crying mom instead. Found one kid hiding in a pot. Yeah, I can't find the other one. Is she sure she had two? Oh, they were under the table. Job well done. Good work, me. Uh-oh. Lord Iorth strolling in. Looks like they're having a meeting, and I've arrived through the employee entrance, apparently. I'm here now, too, also. Hello. Iorth's about to execute all the civilians, but said he won't if we give him the orb. That's a no-brainer. Just give it to him, and we'll get it back again. Or you say something dumb and get everyone killed. That's great. Oh, what do we have here? I knew I heard a little baby crying about their binky or something out there. How goes it, Aryanwin? They're not the enemy, Aryanwin says, as the flames from that family's house nears closer to his feet. Yeah, I worth saying how he literally killed his own mom for not following Siren. Yeah, I can definitely see why you switch teams. Update, I worth is now threatening to kill this kid if we don't give him the orb. One, two, three. See you later, kid. Four. Oh, how high is he counting? Four and a half. <laughs> Stop! Bax, you had plenty of time to think about it. He was counting to a hundred. And there goes Gowan. And that means I'm back to being the only one doing anything again. Get after him. I'm gone, I'm gone. Are you on when... You ever heard the phrase, I'll give you something to cry about? Telling him to get out of my way so I can spec Iorth out, he won't move, so we gotta get rid of him first. I'm pretty sure one of these is an AoE attack. Yeah, so when the arrow is orange, you move just one square away, and when it's purple, you put your prayers back on. I'm falling asleep here, Ariane. Switch it up, do something weird. Whoa, what? I move. I clicked. That was way faster than the other ones. Oh, I guess we're at... Gowan's funeral now? That was an abrupt way to show a pass in time. Backstorian's telling us a story of him being selfish and letting a bunch of his soldiers die because he loved his wife or something. His grandson's pissed at him and he's off to the underground pass to get ready for war. I'm trying to convince Backstorian to put up a last stand fight to Iowerth to redeem himself. I... I can't. Oh, for crying out loud. You have to be the biggest waste of space I've ever met. I've met goblins with more of a spine than you. For once in your miserable life, why don't you actually do something worthwhile? I think I automatically take over as king after that. This is my burnt downtown now. You're awful at pep talks. It wasn't meant to be a pep talk. <laughs> Fuck you, guy. I, I pulled the what would she want card on him. Seems to just be like a cheat code phrase for any situation and any form of narrative. So he's, uh, he's gonna fight. We gotta find the last two elven elders though. And, uh, oh, good. Great. There's these little symbols around the village, and I guess if I touch them, I'd spawn an elder, I think. Don't quote me on that. Oh, I actually need to build a whole ass statue in the village, and then they spawn. Oh, hey. This isn't even the elder. It's her granddaughter or something. Good enough for me. Just got done doing an entire clue scroll to find this one. Last step of it, here we go. Yeah. It's time to go to war. I get to do something I've wanted to do for a very, very long time. We get to switch to the power of ancients, baby. We're gonna be using Blood Blitz for the final boss fight, because, well, I mean, it's the only way we're gonna survive the final boss fight, so. But yeah, Blood Blitz! Yeah! My very own ancient staff. Wow, it's so pretty. And scary, also. I'm all geared up, I'm feeling good, I think. And I'm heading to the underground pass to meet up with everyone. We're gonna try and hold off Iowerth's men and hopefully make them turn around and, and go home, I think. Would be the best case scenario here. This is probably a suicide mission for everyone, but, you know, someone will probably write about it, maybe. Are you kidding me? I've stepped over that thing like 80 times this quest. The one time I need it to not go off, it goes off. There's no fucking way. Are you kidding me, dude? I just lost so much health. I mean, this is the safest way to get there. I could go through the abyss, but it means I'd have to run through the wilderness for a second with this, and I don't really want to do that. I don't trust my luck. Well, I'm already hurt, so might as well embrace it. Get down there the fast way. Talking to Backstorian. He said the new king of Ardoin did not want to assist us. Very nice. So we're actually going to try and hold them off until the dwarves concealed the hole back up that they made, which is going to take a very long time. They don't even know how long that's going to take. So, I mean, this is our home now. We just stay here until something good happens for us, which might be never. I've got to talk to Elena. Hey, by release. Hey, Elena. So this is it. After everything that's happened, this is where it ends. Are you afraid? I... 
I am. What about you? I'm not afraid. Being afraid is a feminine trait. I, I'm terrible at these moments. I never know what to say. I care about you, Elena. You know that, right? I, thank you by release. You're a good friend. I, I better go. <laughs> oh my god, it's so sad. I'm here to fight the war, but I've already lost. Is there any other dialogue that could have potentially happened there? I don't know. Elena dug some holes and wants me to stuff explosives in them. Just like she did to my heart. I can't believe I got friend zone right before this. I guess at one point I didn't go through every dialogue option, and if I did, she would have had a different line, like, don't die out there today or something like that. But I think that's it. I don't, I don't think anything happens here. Just going around talking to all the NPCs to see if they have anything weird to say. I'm gonna die today. I'd rather just get on with it. God damn, fair enough. <laughs> Alunid's telling a story about when Aryan went saved her, and now she has to fight against him. Yeah, I'll probably kill him. It's not a big deal. All right, I'm letting back story and know I'm good to go. Let's do this. I'm telling Iowert that the thing inside that he wants to summon is evil. It's gonna kill everything and anyone. And he's like, well, it is, it's Siren. And I listen to Siren. So if she wants me to kill people, I'll kill people. Aryanwin's like, wait a minute. I, you didn't say that earlier. What the fuck? All right. Good luck. Good luck. It's time to get funky. That's my pre-war phrase I've decided. Oh, see you later, idiots. Damn, dude. If we're hitting constant 80s. We're good to go. Let's end this, baby. Here we go. All right, first up, we gotta defend the barrier. All of them are coming in trying to get through. They're attacking the barrier. I want them to attack me. I'm pulling aggro as much as I can. It's not a DPS check or anything. It's a hit them as fast as you can before they hit the barrier check. It's just kind of annoying because they stack on top of each other. Like, I, I can't tell who's shooting it. Uh, I just kind of have to watch for arrows or some guy marching over to it. They get bored with me after a while. They don't keep their aggro. They're like, ah, he's, he's got enough on him. I like this over here instead. I just stay on me. Be with me. Want me. I want all of you to want me. Give me your attention. Keep shooting me. You'll work out. Like, who's shooting that? Like, I don't- I don't understand. See, look, they're- they're stacked! They're stacked on top of each other! It's not fair! I'm doing the best I can. Alright, the barrier's at, like, half health, and, uh, we've got about half the time left, so this is, uh, half empty, half full. I don't know how you want to look at it, but I'm stressing out either way. Uh, I gotta be honest, uh, I'm, I'm a little nervous here. This isn't looking too good. I can't see anyone who's shooting it. God damn it, dude. No way. I had 19 seconds left. You failed to defend the dwarf camp. I think I did a decent job. I had a fucking battalion of elf soldiers focused on me. I don't- I don't really want to go get more food. I guess I'll just try it again. I want to say it's going better, but I can't tell. I think it's going slightly better. But they're still stacking on each other. I still can't see who's shooting it. I don't know if I should kill them or let them stay alive. I don't know how to keep their aggro. I don't think those cannons are even shooting anything. It's not what a cannon usually does. It usually twists around and stuff. I don't know. We're gonna be cutting it close. All right. We did it! We win! Good work, everyone. They're going home. Never mind, they blew up the barrier anyway, so what the f- What did it matter? Why did we do that? What was the point of failing me if the same thing was gonna happen? Oh god, no. Elena! Say- say- now you say my name! Get away from her. This'll get me out of the friend zone, you just watch. Asilt, consider yourself released. That's a good catchphrase. I think I should save it for when I kill him, though. I've had this dragon mace in my bank since I did Hero's Quest. I never got to use it. Jesus Christ! What did I do that- what happened? I didn't look. I wasn't looking. Oh, I didn't pray range. When he knocks you back, you have to pray range immediately, or he hits you for insane numbers. Now that I've made the range mistake, I'm not gonna make it again. This guy's talking to himself while he's fighting me. I don't really want to type back. Extroin's a waste of space. That's what I said, actually. That's how I got him here. Yeah, you've been released. That's what I was gonna say. I said it the right time that time. Been released. All right, round two, baby. This can't be good. I said. Wait, how'd they get past me? <laughs> Didn't they have to literally walk next to me to get back there? What, what happened? Yeah, how'd they get behind the house? I just let them walk to, to the side of me? What the fuck? What is, are they, is that song still playing? Somebody turn that off. It's so loud. Shut it off. I can't focus. It's so fucking loud, dude. Hey, don't go in there. Don't. Don't go in! Don't touch it! Don't do anything to it! E it's, it's evil! God, dude, they're not gonna hear me! I swear to God, if you touch that crystal, I'm gonna do something crazy. Oh, shit. Whoa! And it's dark. 
you've come to free me. No, what a goofy thing to say. Why is everything so dark? You haven't come to free me at all, have you? You're one of her servants. Nah, no. Get out, get out, get out. Okay, fine. Let me leave. I'm gonna actually leave, I think. All right, well, be, be back soon. <laughs> well, here goes nothing and everything. Oh, <sighs> okay. Let's do this. All right, here's special attack one. It's actually my favorite special attack of hers, because she teleports you close and you just run away. It's relaxing almost. Special attack number two, she spawns multiple versions of herself. Just gotta click the brighter one, like I almost didn't just now. Ow. Special attack number three, she spawns some crystal geyser things, and they heal her, and I hate them. You just have to attack them and they go away, but they suck a lot. And for her final act, that she's gonna do a lot more, uh, this. Fucking ow. I have to make sure I'm full health before she does that attack, because if I'm not, I die, funny enough. And now the cycle restarts. The things start getting faster and hit harder uh, as she gets lower in health. Just have to hope that my blood spells heal me, and uh, just kind of an RNG DPS check from here on out. right next to me. She can't do that, can she? I hate these things. I hate them so much. It's like I'm starting the fight over. I don't think I'm doing good on supplies. I can't tell. She's half health for now, but I'm hitting like dick. Hitting twos. It's my best in slot mage gear, I think. All right, I got her below half, and uh, <laughs> she's going to not be below half momentarily, and she's above half. Perfect. If only this auto attack was about three times faster. It'd be way better for me. Ow. She doesn't miss! Jesus Christ, dude, these heals aren't fucking fair! They're healing for eights! I know I'm also healing, but I don't start with a thousand health. Yeah, this is not looking good, dude. I'd go as far as to say it's looking bad. Oh, there's four of them now! Perfect! Great! I don't like how this looks from here right now. Okay, we're hitting a little bit. This is good. Got her under 200? She's nervous, dude. I can see it. She's nervous. I feel good about this. We're gonna clutch it. Okay. Damn it. God damn it. Damn it. I hate him. If I manually cast, is it faster? Maybe it's one tick. I think it's one tick faster if you manually cast. I don't know if that's true or if that's just a myth. She's a fucking Jesus, dude. She's at 232. And I have half a pizza left. Great. Perfect. Gotta be honest. Probably not gonna win here. It may even be guaranteed I don't win this fight, so... I'm thinking, uh... <laughs> I think we get the hell out of here. <laughs> God damn it. it. Does not feel nice teleporting out of that. We were so close, dude. Those heals are brutal. So I've been advised to use knives when the heals come out. So I guess I'm gonna try that. Okay, switching to knives. Granted, it's only two of them. Okay, but that puts me right next to her. I mean, so it's a faster attack, but <laughs> it also pulls me in so close. Her melee attack was getting me, which is not ideal. Did I not hit that one? What's wrong with me? These knives are fucking me up. They're doing more harm than good. This run is terrible, dude. I'm hitting her once a month. I don't like this attack either. Oh, I stood way too close to her, and Jesus Christ, all of her little fucking clones hit too. Most accurate monster in the game. I've just realized that I uh, need to fucking heal up as fast as possible. I hope I don't die from this. Wow. That was insanely <laughs> close. I'm not finishing this one out. I, I'm running out of death runes is my biggest concern right now. I have no death runes. This is my entire stack. Death runes are gonna ruin everything for me. I don't know what to do. I topped off on death runes. I'm gonna try and get as much mage bonus as I can because I was hitting like a little baby. Probably had like 2% accuracy in that last fight. So I'm gonna give myself as much magic bonus as I can. We'll see. All right, everyone. DPS check number three. Here we go. 
Dude, I feel like I'm in one of those 2008 RuneScape max hit videos. You know what I'm talking about? Like, it was so solid 2K. <laughs> and I'm on the other side of it. It's very degrading. I, uh, she is melting through me like butter, dude. I cannot avoid any of her attacks. This is so painful. I feel like my ancient staff's defective, dude. Oh, there's a return policy on this thing. She sold me a faulty one. Dude, I'm hitting- I think I'm hitting less than before. I've eaten so much food already. I'm leaving. I, I, I'm fucking gone. I'm putting my helmet back on. I set off the poison trap and I fell down the fucking leaves twice. So I'm sitting here waiting for my health to go back up. I just want to get this done, dude. I'm going. I don't care. What's 20 health to her? Oh, I did not mean to cross here. Well, no fucking way. No way. I didn't even mean to click that one. That's not even the way to get there. Down a f I lost 40 health? I've lost 40 health on the way here? I'm fucking- I'm gonna just, there's no, I can't start the fight with fucking 46 health, dude. There's no way. I can't just use my food here, dude. I have to teleport back. I- I gotta teleport out and redo the run here. It's so bad. Oh, thank god, dude. Okay. At least we've cleared this part. We're starting with full health. I'm feeling good. Just need a little bit of RNG. We'll be fine. I'm convinced that blood spells actually don't heal you. I don't think blood blitz works. I don't think anyone QA tested the spell. I'm pretty sure I'm regenerating naturally faster than it's healing me. Dude, I hate that attack so much. All those numbers add up to bigger numbers. Fucking throw the knife! Just throw it! Don't hold on to it, don't treasure it, just fucking throw it! What? Huh? Why'd she hit that high? Yeah, thanks for grabbing my stuff in there. Here's 80,000 gold, so that you can put it in your pocket and not do anything with it forever. Yeah, I'm just kind of panic alking a little bit. Brought my cash stack up to about 500k. Gives me room for about seven deaths. I don't think I'll die that many times. But I, uh, I also need to buy death runes. Before I started the quest, I got a bunch of dragon bones. I'm gonna get a couple prayer levels here. I don't know if it'd make that much a difference, but any addition to me right now is great. Uh, I'm just gonna go, uh, get some prayer XP, I think. Nice. This feels good for me. Oh no. What's happening to that guy? Oh, he's- he did that to himself, okay. Alright, I got scared. I thought someone just came along with the most OP weapon of all time. Ooh, Mystic Warrior! Oh, what, a, what a strong man. A strong, brave man, even. Do me instead. 64 prayer! Oh, and a combat level, why not? Uh-oh. He's attacking me. He's not getting any of my bones. I'm using all these. There's no way these are still going. I think I just got like 80 bones worth of use. I'm heading back. I'm gonna quit this video game. I have above my agility level right now. It's literally boosted. I, I don't care. I, I, I'm not teleporting out again. I'm starting the fight with 65 HP. I don't care. Panicking. Panicking is what I'm doing right now. I didn't record half this fight. Dude, thank god I was paranoid about not recording, because I checked and I was not recording. This is going better than any run so far. If I didn't record this whole thing, I, I, I don't even want to think about it. We have, to, we have to kill this thing. My prayer is gone. Oh look, it's 1 HP. I don't even know if I'm doing well anymore. It hurts. Ow! This is the first time she's been below 100. And we're hitting good! We're hitting good! What is this? Okay, 50 HP. Oh my god, yes! Okay, she's healing a lot. Can you not do that? Please stop. No, no, no! Alright, that was a lot of healing. Uh, I need to eat a lot. I need to eat so much. I need to eat everything I have, please. That was, uh... Scary. Okay. Um, oh, maybe I put my prayer on two as well. Okay. All right. We're fine. Thirty-seven. We can. We can do thirty-seven. Fifteen. We we can hit fifteens. Eleven. I can definitely hit eleven. I've hit eleven before. We've done it a lot this fight. We've hit higher than that even. She is dead, I think. What have you done? Some cool ass shit, man. I tried to stop her. With violence, that's all you know, isn't it? Yeah. I also just realized it's you of all people saying that to me. Fuck you. Yeah. There you go. I just walk up and stab him. <laughs> My guy's being nice to him right now because he technically stopped Lord Iworth at the last second, but, I mean... 
Come on. This dude almost got everybody killed. Okay, so he helped rebuild Lydia, and he's seen Prif, so he's leaving. I'll miss you. Wait, what? No, don't say that. Why is my guy saying that? Who coded that in? That's not what I'd say. Pulls out Bo, shoots him in the back. But look at that. The gates of Prif. Hey, by release. Nope. Backstory and decided that they're gonna let humans in now. A mistake I will be fixing later, probably. But for now, we get to go inside. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so happy right now. Ladies and gentlemen. Quest complete. That's a good looking piece of paper. Feels good to finally be in here. Back around when I first started this series, this was gonna be the finale. This was the end game right here. But then I did what I do best and barely played the game. So it's safe to say that this is not a finale. It's far from it. And we've got a long road ahead of us to the true finale. I'll see you guys soon. And I mean it this time.